Dead Sea Scrolls. Leviticus. Masada Leviticus A. Language, Hebrew. Date, before 73 AD Location, Masada. Leviticus 4. 3. If the anointed priest sinned so as to bring guilt on the people, then let him offer for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bull without defect to Yahweh for a sin offering. For he shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of meeting before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the bull, and kill the bull before Yahweh. 5. The anointed priest shall take some of the blood of the bull, and bring it to the tent of meeting. 6. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahweh, before the veil of the sanctuary. 7. The priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of meeting, and he shall pour out all of rest of the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. 8. He shall take all the fat of the bull of the sin offering from it, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards. 9. And the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver, with the kidneys, he shall take away, Masada Leviticus b. Language, Hebrew. Date, before 73 AD Location, Masada. Leviticus 8. 31 Moses said to Aaron and to his sons, Boil the meat at the door of the tent of meeting, and there eat it and the bread that is in the basket of consecration, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. 33 You shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting for seven days, until the days of your consecration are fulfilled, for he shall consecrate you seven days. 34 What has been done today, so Yahweh has commanded to do, to make atonement for you. Leviticus 9. 1 On the eighth day, Moses called Aaron and his sons, and the elders of Israel. 2 And he said to Aaron, Take a calf from the herd for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering, without defect, and offer them before Yahweh. 3. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, Take a male goat for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both a year old, without defect, for a burnt offering. 4. And a bull and a ram for peace offerings, to sacrifice before Yahweh, and a meal offering mixed with oil, for today Yahweh appears to you. 5 They brought what Moses commanded before the tent of meeting, and all the congregation came near and stood before Yahweh. 6 Moses said, This is the thing which Yahweh commanded that you should do, and Yahweh's glory shall appear to you. 7 Moses said to Aaron, Draw near to the altar, and offer your sin offering, and your burnt offering, and make atonement for yourself, and for the people, and offer the offering of the people, and make atonement for them, as Yahweh commanded. 8 So Aaron came near to the altar, and killed the calf of the sin offering, which was for himself. 9 The sons of Aaron presented the blood to him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it on the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar. 10 But the fat, and the kidneys, and the cover from the liver of the sin offering, he burned upon the altar, as Yahweh commanded Moses. 12 He killed the burnt offering. And Aaron's sons delivered the blood to him, and he sprinkled it around on the altar. 13 They delivered the burnt offering to him, piece by piece, and the head, and he burned them upon the altar. 22 Aaron lifted up his hands toward the people, and blessed them, and he came down from offering the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings. 23 Moses and Aaron went into the tent of meeting, and came out, and blessed the people and Yahweh's glory appeared to all the people. Twenty-four fire came out from before Yahweh, and consumed the burnt offering and the fat upon the altar. When all the people saw it, they shouted, and fell on their faces. Leviticus 10. 1 Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, each took his censer, and put fire in it, and laid incense on it, and offered strange fire before Yahweh, which he had not commanded them. 9 You and your sons are not to drink wine or strong drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting, or you will die. This shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. 10 You are to make a distinction between the holy and the common, and between the unclean and the clean. 11 You are to teach the children of Israel all the statutes which Yahweh has spoken to them by Moses. 12 Moses spoke to Aaron, 
and to Eleazar and to Ithamar, his sons who were left, Take the meal offering that remains of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and eat it without yeast beside the altar, for it is most holy. 13 And you shall eat it in a holy place, because it is your portion, and your son's portion, of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, for so I am commanded. 14 The waved breast and the heaved thigh you shall eat in a clean place, you, and your sons, and your daughters with you, for they are given as your portion, and your son's portion, out of the sacrifices of the peace offerings of the children of Israel. 15 The heaved thigh and the waved breast they shall bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat, to wave it for a wave offering before Yahweh, and it shall be yours, and your sons with you, as a portion forever, as Yahweh has commanded. 16 Moses diligently inquired about the goat of the sin offering, and, behold, it was burned, and he was angry with Eleazar and with Ithamar, the sons of Aaron who were left, saying. 17 Why haven't you eaten the sin offering in the place of the sanctuary, since it is most holy, and he has given it to you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before Yahweh? 18 Behold, its blood was not brought into the inner part of the sanctuary, you certainly should have eaten it in the sanctuary, as I commanded. 19 Aaron spoke to Moses, Behold, Today they have offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before Yahweh, and such things as these have happened to me. If I had eaten the sin offering today, would it have been pleasing in Yahweh's sight? 20 When Moses heard that, it was pleasing in his sight. Leviticus 11 1 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying to them. 2 Speak to the children of Israel, saying, These are the living things which you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. 3 Whatever parts the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and choose the cut among the animals, that you may eat. 4 Nevertheless these you shall not eat of those that chew the cud, or of those who part the hoof, the camel, because he chews the cud but doesn't have a parted hoof, he is unclean to you. 5 The coney, because he chews the cud but doesn't have a parted hoof, he is unclean to you. 6 The hare, because she chews the cud but doesn't part the hoof, she is unclean to you. 7 The pig, because he has a split hoof, and is cloven-footed, but doesn't chew the cud, he is unclean to you. 8 Of their meat you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch, they are unclean to you. 9 These you may eat of all that are in the waters, whatever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, that you may eat. 10 All that don't have fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of all the living creatures that are in the waters, they are an abomination to you. 11 And you shall detest them. You shall not eat of their meat, and you shall detest their carcasses. 12 Whatever has no fins nor scales in the waters, that is an abomination to you. 13 These you shall detest among the birds, they shall not be eaten, they are an abomination, the eagle, and the vulture, and the black vulture. 15 Any kind of raven. 16 The horned owl, the screech owl, and the gull, any kind of hawk. 17 The little owl, the cormorant, the great owl. 18 The white owl, the desert owl, the osprey. 19 The stork, any kind of heron, the hoopoe, and the bat. 20 All flying insects that walk on all fours are an abomination to you. 21 Yet you may eat these of all winged creeping things that go on all fours, which have legs above their feet, with which to hop on the earth. 23 But all winged creeping things which have four feet, are an abomination to you. 24 By these you will become unclean, whoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. 25 Whoever carries any part of their carcass shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening. 26 Every animal which parts the hoof, and is not cloven-footed, nor chews the cud, is unclean to you. Everyone who touches them shall be unclean. 27 Whatever goes on its paws, among all animals that go on all fours, they are unclean to you. Whoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. 28 He who carries their carcass shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean to you. 29 These are they which are unclean to you among the creeping things that creep on the earth, the weasel, the rat, any kind of great lizard. 
30 the gecko, and the monitor lizard, the wall lizard, the skink, and the chameleon. 31 these are they which are unclean to you among all that creep. Whoever touches them when they are dead, shall be unclean until the evening. 32 on whatever any of them falls when they are dead, it shall be unclean, whether it is any vessel of wood, or clothing, or skin, or sack, whatever vessel it is, with which any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening, then it will be clean. 33 Every earthen vessel, into which any of them falls, all that is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. 34 All food which may be eaten, that on which water comes, shall be unclean, and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. 35 Everything whereupon part of their carcass falls shall be unclean, whether oven, or range for pots, it shall be broken in pieces, they are unclean, and shall be unclean to you. 36 Nevertheless a spring or a cistern in which water is gathered shall be clean, but that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. 37 If part of their carcass falls on any sowing seed which is to be sown, it is clean. 38 But if water is put on the seed, and part of their carcass falls on it, it is unclean to you. 39 If any animal, of which you may eat, dies, he who touches its carcass shall be unclean until the evening. 40 He who eats of its carcass shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening. He also who carries its carcass shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening.